the gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel reading describes the, the, the miraculous healing of Jesus of the two blind men who approach him with trusting faith. Blindness was common in Palestine because of the intense glare of the eastern Easter, Easter, sand, clouds of unclean flies, and people's ignorance of cleanliness and hygiene. If we have to look at the background of the gospel, so we see in here that not only blindness is caused by the Jewish mind or understanding that they are being cursed or they might have inherited the sin of their forefathers. But blindness also is due to hygiene and cleanliness. Blindness was common in Palestine because of the intense glare of this Easter sun or clouds of unclean flies and people's ignorance of cleanliness and hygiene. But what is uh, remarkable with the cast reading today is the dramatic healing of these two blind men. And this is the meeting point of the human need and divine intervention. We see that in our day-to-day -day experience, in our deep faith and trust in God, that it needs also the human intervention, human effort. Sinasabi po natin palagi, nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. Ibig po sabihin, tinutulungan ng Diyos, lalong-lalo na ang mga taong tinutulungan ang kanilang mga sarili. And this is inspiring gospel today that speaks about the healing of the two blind men. The two blind men followed Jesus from the street all the way to the house, and Jesus entered, loud expressing the confidence in the son of David and the two blind men requesting for mercy. And here, Jesus found in this man what was required for receiving a miracle. And namely, they have a strong faith, an expectant faith, and the earnest desire for a vision and a sincere prayer for mercy. On the season of Advent, let us pray for spiritual eyesight to realize, experience the presence of Jesus in ourselves and others and for the good will to do good and for others. Let us ask God to heal us from our blindness spiritually, that we may clearly see the vision of God for us. Let us always pray every day in the season of Advent that God may restore our sight and heal us from our blindness, our spiritual blindness. Amen.